You may think when you hear the word sexual purity that you could have never had sex before. Some things may have happened in your life that weren't your fault or maybe you were in a relationship that ended badly or you ended and things just happen. The enemy is always looking for an opportunity to impact your life and maybe he did in the area of your sexual relationships. But the Bible says that the Lord takes your sins and casts them as far as the east is from the west. As we meditate this morning, our scripture is 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 through 4. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. As you meditate this morning, see all of your past being washed away. Feel the embrace of the Lord around you. Feel Him loving you. Feel the Lord saying, you are forgiven and know that it is in your past and that it is done. Know that from today on, you can honor God even when having sex with your spouse. See yourself enjoying the relationship with your spouse. See yourself enjoying their touch. See yourself laughing, knowing that being married and being with your spouse is honorable and that your bed is undefiled, as the Bible says. Know that you are operating in God's Word when you and your spouse unite in intimacy. Know that all of the impure things that were done before your marriage have been washed away by the blood of Jesus. As you open your journal, reflect on the questions about purity. Reflect on how you feel. Reflect on what God has done for you to make you pure from anything that you've done in your past. As you work in your journal today, hear from the Lord and what He has to say to you. This is a new day and He wants to give you new insights. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this listener. Thank you, Father, for the purity and cleansing and healing that has been done in their body. Thank you this day. Father God, reveal more to them. Reveal more about their intimate healing and let them feel your freedom in their body. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer.